Hello, magnificent souls of love and light. I come to you straight from Mexico jungle. And I am absolutely in love with life. In love with life. And I've been saying that for a while because this is exactly how I create the life I am in love with by first being in love with that idea and feeling it already happened. My name is Elisa Mozal. I am a spiritual mentor and an energy healer. And I am absolutely and entirely in love with helping others heal their energy permanently so they can fully step into their life and become the version of themselves they always seek for outside of themselves. Um, and the progress that I'm doing with my clients is absolutely astonishing. It is so profound. It is so deep, yet gentle and extremely graceful. Extremely graceful. So I'm very grateful for being where I am in my life as a healer, as a woman, um, as a human being, and as well as a being of light, fully aware of my soul lineage, owning my soul's origin power, owning where I come from. I get all of that from the visions uh, due to the depth of willingness and dedication that I have every single day for going inwards. Uh, and I am right now here in Mexico, living my best life entirely to the core, so fulfilled with gratitude, so fulfilled with everything I do and so grateful and so grateful. And over the last 24 hours, there was quite few people going through a shift in energy and releasing deeply rooted old strains, particular strains of toxic energies. Um, and it can be challenging. It really can be challenging. And the more we label the stuff as challenging, difficult, wrong, bad, eh, all of it, the more difficult it gets because of the level of resistance. And the more we do that on our journey, the easier it is for us to just allow it to flow, allow it to flow through us so it gets out of our system and we can start again experiencing the, the gratitude. The, the thing is that the peace and gratitude actually comes in the moment of surrendering, in the moment of just fully letting go of that resistance. And this is something that it was so difficult for me to get. It was something that never has been in my nature. And each time I would be going through a difficult part of my journey, there was this huge resistance. The reason for it is, that it is because of the past. Because I was unable to go through this present experience without using the lenses of my past. And the lessons of my past include so much pain. So much pain, so much suffering. So much low frequencies that they are all fed by guilt and shame, fear and lack, not good enoughness and deeply rooted unworthiness to which I was extremely addicted to. And it is something I'm working on every single day. Every single day it is a huge weak awareness of it. And they are days that I am so good at it. I'm so good at it. I kid you not. Uh, I sound good at it. And I feel so loved and I feel so beautifully divinely guided. And I feel this magnificent support, like this magnificent support that comes from my heart. But in the same time, it is this magnificent sphere, size of a cluster of galaxies. And it loves me so deeply and so much. Um, and feeling that kind of guidance, feeling that kind of love and support is magnificent and beautiful. And they are those times when I'm not that good at it. They are those times through which actually I grow the most because they are contained and filled up with all the strains of frequencies, with all the way of beings, with the past, with the past lenses, past perception. And now staying extremely conscious, present and aware and while feeling this sensation flowing through my body and not attaching to them the way I would do in the past, 
is the game. Is the game. This is when the game is on. The on switch is on. Um, and it's all about being present. And the other days I'm doing that amazingly, the other days I am not, and that's okay as well. You know why? All gets better and easier the second we include all the spectrums of light, dark, light, shade. There's, I think they're like monkeys. I think they're like monkeys here. And they actually dropped a rotten fruit on me when I was recording previous video for my client. <laughs> I think they don't like when I speak out loud. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely have a walk around here outside of that property. It's just pure full on jungle. <laughs> and I'm gonna be on the walks every single day and I'm gonna see who am I gonna come across? What kind of being? We'll see. Magnificent energies I feel here from the Mayan gods. Beautiful, beautiful. It's very, very unique strain of frequency. I, I, I experience them as a taste if I wanna differentiate them. Uh, and it's very beautiful, it's very beautiful, very unique as well, powerful, yet very gentle. Um, very similar to my own energy, which is, ah, hallelujah, yes, family like. And when we include all the different shades of the spectrum of light into our journey, everything comes easier. Because we include everything into it, and in the same way, we're becoming the wholeness we have signed up for to be. We didn't sign up here to just go towards having the time of your life when you can put your feet up and that's all you do. You know, the, the, the life isn't, and for me, the life isn't about going to the point where I have the most comfortable, easy and pleasurable existence. Life, it isn't about just getting to the holidays. Life is about, for me, about being here and now and experiencing the rotten fruit being dropped on my legs, splashing with the different worms inside on my legs in the middle of the jungle, right? And that journey is about seeing and observing how the mind, the old mind doesn't want to die, go away, and it comes back stronger than ever, trying to pull you back into your old ways. That journey is about three afternoons or mornings filled up with yoga and ease and love. And it is filled up with endless hours of creating your website and answering messages for those who signed up to work with you and work on themselves and feeling so much love and gratitude for it. Um, so when you include everything in your journey, your whole existence and being changes because you step up with your frequency higher than you will realize at the beginning. Everything becomes a beautiful and magnificent flow with the river. And yes, there will be rocks in the middle of the river and the flow. There will be some driftwood. There will be some other people in the kayaks and then everything everything becomes a beautiful magnificent adventure to um, beautifully flow through it and in between it um, if you're struggling at the moment with any type of energies on inner stuff uh, I'm going to very lovingly and strongly invite you to look within deeper than you ever did before. Like, just let go entirely of looking at others, what they did, what they didn't do to you, and just entirely own your power, own your presence in this part of your lifetime, own uh, where you are and who you are, and own that you've got there through your own way of thinking, feeling, and behaving. I promise you, your whole life is going to change. And yes, it's going to be uncomfortable because maybe that's going to be the first time you're going to do it or you've never done it for a while. And it's going to be uncomfortable because it's new. But once you will take it out, judgment, condemnation, criticism of yourself out of that picture, out of that process, maybe journaling, maybe meditation, or both, both, always go for both options. Always go for both options. 
I promise you, your energy is going to shift and change and you will never be the same again. You will become the stronger, wiser and more magnificent version of yourself you ever been before. And if you need help, ask for help. There is literally millions of people who are there all, ready to help one another. Um, and the more you will invest in yourself, the more you will benefit from it. I wish every single one of you all the best. Lots of love from the middle of the jungle. Woohoo! This place is magnificent. There is a ladder on that tree. I'm going to have to climb so many lizards. And when we were driving here, I thought it was actually a squirrel going to the tree because I come from Poland and I've been living in Scotland for a long time. <laughs> but it was not. It was a massive badass lizard. <laughs> I'm like, look, look, this, this is a squirrel. Mm -mm. No, no, Eliza. No, this is, this is, this is a lizard. So um, I wish every single one of you only the best. Um, please acknowledge right now in this moment how worthy you truly are when you will turn right now everything off take that massive big juicy breath with me tune in with your heart tune in with that divinity within you tune in into that divine spark that it is within you and feel deeply how worthy you are of the best life has to offer how worthy you are of everything you're dreaming about to happen for you, but you've got to feel it. You've, and if you cannot feel it, ask for help, find help, get the help so you can feel it. So we can feel it, so we can start creating the life of your dreams instead of staying that background noise. Um, yeah, I'm wishing you absolutely all the best and lots of love.